talk about it once again. Uh, what I have in front of me is this MacBook's adapter and this is thing that goes south almost all the time. So I will be showing you how to repair it and I've actually seen this thing on uh, one creation YouTube channel, a guy named Alvin. Alvin, if you're watching this thing, this is actually your idea. I'm just actually translating it to English because, well, he only speaks in Croatian. Anyway, so let me show you the idea. I had actually quite a few struggles on opening this thing and uh, I've seen on his channel the most brilliant way to open it. So I decided to well share it with you. What you need is actually some kind of pliers and that is it. So the idea is actually to have some kind of pliers. Let me see which one. Maybe this one. They are a bit better. And insert them in here and just try to bring this thing apart. And as you can see, one already flew out. Sorry, I had a phone call. So, insert and Ah, but help. Now this thing is actually way easier to do it if you are well between your knees, but still good enough. And there you have it. Basically, this thing is now open, which is, I guess, in my book, awesome. I do need to pick this thing up, but as you can see, this thing is open, and I will be doing the same thing on this side just to pry it a bit more. And that is it. The adapter is open. And basically, what you need to do in the end is just glue it back together. But, as you can see, with a little bit of prying, you have actually opened this thing. Now, the next thing that I will be doing is First of all, we need to remove this plastic. And now, what I will be doing is actually unsoldering these two. Now, this one, the white one is plus, the black one is obviously minus. So, let's do that. Okay. And this is some shielding. Quite nice, actually. And I will be unsoldering uh, this thing as well. There is a lot of gunk in here, but... Okay. Now, after I have removed the gunk, I can actually unsolder these two. So, again... Oh, sorry, lighting in here isn't the greatest. White one is plus, the other one is minus. So, let's remove those two. Okay. And these two have been removed and I will be using my vacuum pump just to clean the contacts. Now, as you can see, the contacts are clean, these two. Now, this is actually the tricky part, because this thing is a uh, little plastic, so I need to remove all of this. And I will be actually using my Dremel for this, if I can find the tips for it. And my tips are not in here. You know what, let's go for Darwin Awards. Precision tools. Anyway, now that this thing is done, I'll need to pull this thing out. So, after I pull this thing out, I actually need to drill a hole through here. But I don't know whether you can see it. You can actually already see through this hole. And I believe that uh, this tip will do.
always simple with Apple, right? Anyway, as you can see, this thing is actually it's been done very beautifully, I guess. Okay, now let's clean this thing a bit, let's say like this. And what I will be doing now is actually insulating in just a second with heat shrink. Okay. And one more thing. The plus. And I will be applying the uh, solder into it. Okay, so as you can see this already looks quite nice. So minus and plus. Okay, and I will be cutting off the excess. Again, this is ground, so this thing will snug in pretty nicely. Okay, let's put this thing back inside. This thing got a bit bent, but what can you do? Okay, and I'll need some tape. Okay, so there we have it. This tape is actually heat resistant, so kind of cool. Okay, let's put this thing back where it belongs. And there we have it. This thing looks as good as the original. I will be actually applying some uh, Super glue. Now we'll be applying some gel in here. Dry, just so that uh, when you pull the cable, that it does not rip out the cable itself. And this thing will actually dry off in 10 20 minutes. So the next thing I need to do is put this thing back. And this thing goes in here. And this thing already is in here and uh, sorry you know what let me clean this thing up and I will be back right after that so it is a bit cleaner anyway I needed to put these things back and uh, this springy thing needs to be in here so uh, don't forget that anyway and I need to put this thing back and there is one more now the last thing I need to do is actually quite simple and that is to put uh, well glue all over the place and clean this excess all I need to do is actually press it back in and that is everything seriously Okay. Okay. And after this thing actually dries out, this is the way the adapter looks. And it's not that bad, given that it has been repaired. So yeah, you know, this thing is a bit bent, but it's not the end of the world. So after this thing dries out, you have a repaired adapter. 
until the next time i hope you learned something i hope you liked this video if you did please click like subscribe if you didn't you know what to do and until the next time cheers